So, I've been sick for a couple of weeks. The room's a mess. There have not been any vlogs. But, the vlog must go on. Even though I haven't fully recovered, I am planning to go work at the winter camps this week. Where's Addis? Hey you, my name is Ian. Welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. In an effort to not look like a caveman for said camps, uh, thanks to Addis, we have this collab thing that we're gonna do. I get a haircut and beard thingies. And in exchange, we make this vlog and shoot some awesome product pics. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's the best barber shop in town. Allen's Barber Shop. <laughs> Just ruined my shot, wait. Allen's Barber Shop. He became famous, got a camera guy to operate. Okay, well I got a hair wash. Now we can go home. Good day. Thanks. Yeah, look, I have a winter hat. I don't have to do anything. Just go out like this. Looking good, man. I feel good. I feel like I'm just born because I was totally born with a beard. I wish I could tell you you actually look good, but... Some friend you are. I feel born again. I was born with a beard. Like, him. were you born with a beard? Nah, I wish I was, but no. This is the first time in life that I look better than him because I just got a fresh haircut. Okay, that's it. I'm getting Eric up right. Thank you, people. See ya. Bye. Now it's time to uphold our end of the deal and take pictures of said products. Ready, bro? Ready. So we have a little setup. Uh, the plastic bags work as little diffusion boxes. The flashes go straight up and poo! You get diffused lighting on the scene below. We got two products here. This is the ointment and the oil thing. Now this is a really cool bottle and what I want to do after this is backlight it in a way so that you can really see the color and of the oil and the transparency of the bottle and also the logo should be a lot more visible. But for the first part we got this light here and this light here which gives your basic front elements and these are just decorations a brush and a trimmer thing got a very woody texture around and then I dumped those pillows there just so they'll be in the background obviously we're not going to be using this ultra wide lens for the product shots and I'm gonna get to the picture taking so Just as a tiny little side note, I just did like most of that amazing bureau footage, so thank you, bro. So this is when you have your pro assistant creating barn doors for your flash gun so that you get light on your product, but not in your camera lens. Julia being ingenious in gen what, what the hell was I supposed to say? Ingenious. Ingenious, yeah. You see, the further away I move the lens from the sensor, the closer I can focus. So I don't have to take pictures like this anymore with the 85 millimeter. And it kind of gives us a cool tilt shift effect. I'll show you some pics like <laughs> And now I'm gonna very quickly give you a tiny bit of information behind each of the photos that we took. So the first picture was kind of a 50 mil establishing shot lit from both sides. It looked good, but it was a little bit too bright. So I got rid of one of the lights creating those shadows on the left side and pushed in a little bit to showcase the actual product. Then I moved up a little bit to have a look from the top, especially showcasing the logo on the ointment. This is again a one light setup coming from the right side just above diffused by the plastic bag. And thinking that the 50 mil was a bit too wide, I switched to the 85 and moved all the way down to give this compressed down to earth kind of view. You see those pillows in the background add texture to the image, making it less boring. That's when I took the lens off the camera and moved it a little bit forward so I could focus much closer with the 85, giving these kind of close up macro type shots. Then I decided to do a flat lay from up straight 
down and these little brushes give texture as well as decoration to the product. Again, zoomed in on the products themselves, I think this vertical shot worked a little bit better. I really wanted to backlight this bottle because of the beautiful color and transparency that it has and this worked splendidly. That's when Addis was holding the barn door so I didn't get a huge flare into the camera while still being able to backlight the bottle. We did another flat lay with a black texture but the light was a little bit too bright so then we moved to a smaller constant video light from the side and it looked decent but I think we really hit the jackpot when we move to the side and you can see the source of the light the bottle is also transparent and you still have all these accessories and obviously I added the anamorphic flares to make it look uh, I don't know. That is it for the first vlog of 2020. It's been a while in the making. I've been sick, I've been at camps, all kind of things. I'm planning to do a lot of upgrades, so from here on out, I will try to change one element of the vlog with every new vlog that comes out in an effort to, in the next couple of months, update the entire format. We'll see how it goes, I guess. You know that I always share the journey with you. I'm also revamping my Instagram account and I want to be more active on TikTok and all those good things that I was talking about in 2019 I want to really stomp on it and make it happen as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys next week I hit my camera with the door <laughs>